Elisha, the widow, and the oil. A true story from 2 Kings chapter 4 verses 1 through 7. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction. James chapter 1 verse 27. One day, a woman came to Elisha. She was very distraught. She said, Elisha, you remember? My husband was one of the sons of the prophets. He feared God, and now he is dead. But the problem is, is that he owed money. He owed money, and he couldn't pay it back before he died. And now, the creditor that we owe money to, he is come and he is saying he's going to take away my two sons to be slaves to pay for it. Please, Elisha, you have to do something. My poor boys. My husband is dead. I can't lose my sons too. Elisha asked the woman, Well, what can be done? What, what do you have in your house right now? The woman said, Nothing, Elisha. All I have in my house is a pot of oil. We are very poor. We can't pay him back. Aha. Uh -huh. This is what you are to do. Go and borrow vessels from your neighbors, from all of your neighbors. Jars, buckets, canisters, containers. Don't borrow a few of them. Borrow a lot, as many as you can. Empty ones. And take them inside your house. And after you've shut your door, and it's just you and your sons inside your house, pour the oil out of your pot into all those empty containers and set aside pots that are full, vessels that are full. So the woman went and did this. She went and borrowed lots and lots of vessels, pots, canisters, containers. Yeah, so what was God doing with this? Why did Elisha tell her to take all these pots and vessels? Isn't that a kind of a strange thing to do? Oh, thanks, Joy. You're right. That's the correct answer. God was taking care of the widow. God loves to take care of people that are in need and realize that they have a need and they cry out to him. And that's what this woman was doing. She was coming to the man of God to ask him for help. Uh, but Joy, why do you have a why do you have a jar there? You're helping. What do you mean you're helping? Oh, oh, you're gonna bring the the jar to the the widow woman. Well, there's a problem there, Joy, because this is a real story of this widow woman, but she's been dead a long time ago. But you're you're not. You're just part of our our story here. Okay. Well, we'll let you, we'll let it slide this time. Okay. Take the take the pot and give it to her to the woman. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. So let's get back to our story. So the woman took the jars and the pots inside and she took her jar of oil and she started pouring it into the first canister. Do you know what happened? It just kept pouring, 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 pouring until the pot was full. And then she took a barrel and she started pouring it in there. And the oil kept pouring and pouring and pouring. And still there was more oil inside the pot. So she kept pouring. And there was still more oil. It just kept coming out and coming out and coming out. This was a miracle. She and her sons were so surprised. That jar of oil kept pouring and pouring. And now... All of the jars and the pots that they had borrowed were full of oil. Well, that's wonderful. But now what do you do? 
So the woman went back to, to Elisha. Elisha, it's a miracle! It's a miracle! We have all of these pots of oil now. The jar of oil that, that I had, the oil just kept pouring out and pouring out. And now all those empty canisters are full of oil. Uh, but Elisha, now what do I do? What, do? what am I supposed to do with all these jars of oil? And Elisha said to her, Oh, go and sell the oil. Sell it. Okay? It's going to take some work to sell all that oil, but sell it. And then with the money that you get from the oil sale, pay off your debt. And then after you pay off your debt, you and your sons can use the rest of the money to live off of. Wow. This was so neat. And I'm sure the widow woman was so happy that she got to keep her sons with her. I wonder if she saved that one jar of oil that was hers as a reminder of how God had taken care of her. Thanks, Joy. There's our memory or our, our verse for today again. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction. The end.